Kyle Cousins. This is our 2008 W900, nicknamed Ace in the Hole. Um, it was a working truck for us uh, up until about a little over a year ago, and we decided to pull it into the shop, redo some things. A um, few of the things that we did, we started out, stretched it out from a 292 wheelbase out to 308 inch, um, sleeved the frame all the way from the back of the sleeper through the back of the uh, through the tail frame, uh, put a flush mount toolbox in there. It's on, it runs on an actuator. Um, really primarily the whole reason why we pulled it off the road was to repaint it. So we went with the same colors again, uh, black, red, pearl, red, uh, corridor red and gold and uh, just this time when we did it we had uh, had them marble the inside of the red uh -huh. to uh, just kind of set it off and it matches in the floor as well um, took a took the hood off put a Jones hood on there added about three inches to the bottom of the fender and kind of tapered it in and then as you can see did the same thing matched the rear fiberglass fenders up the same way uh, and then on the Cab, cab panels, change the cab panels to where uh, they drop down now. I think they've added two inches, something like that. It actually covers it covers the back side of the radius of the tank as well as on the front side, it hides the top of the battery box as well. So now whenever you're looking at the lights, the lights just run in one continuous line, whereas most of the time on a Kenworth, it'll run, it, it kind of stair steps. Um, Interior-wise, we uh, had uh, two B's interior out there in Seattle make us up a Seattle package for it, and it's black with uh, red Cayman alligator insert. Um, all the buttons in it are red. Uh, painted just about every piece of plastic in there, the black, red, pearl, just to kind of give it that glossy pop. Um, and also did the, covered the seats as well in there. Um, did some more marble, did some marble on the dash of the red too, so, and then under the hood, the paint scheme runs through the hood on the, on the underside of the hood, it's painted as well, marbled, matched to the outside. We pulled the motor out, completely sanded it down, took all the cast and everything out of it, so it's more or less completely smooth, chrome valve cover, uh, just basically chromed, chromed as much as we possibly could underneath the hood because um, the truck itself looks more or less the same i mean okay. the, the red is different but now with the interior being done and all the marbling and having all of this stuff rather than it being that dull plastic just i mean having that yeah. black red pearl metallic in there it just yeah it gets me all all jacked up just looking the at it the trailer is a 2017 great name um we ordered it uh, ordered it uh, I think it came in in January. We, uh, we added, I can't remember how many lights it came with, but we added it. Uh, we added, I think the trailer now has 140, 132 lights. Okay. Uh, basically, just tried to keep all of the spacing as even as possible. Added as many lights while keeping the spacing. And then underneath here, on the, on the cross members, every light has a has the light there on the cross member as well too mm -hmm. so it kind of gives it, it kind of casts out as well as down okay. and then puts light panels on the front and back of both of the axles and cool. painted the rails uh, we actually originally were just going to polish out the rails and then had them polished out and it just <laughs> didn't quite pop it, it, it didn't quite pop so we decided to go back and basically paint them, uh, paint them the same color as the frame of the truck, painted all the subframe and everything on the trailer, um, you know, just kind of trying to dress it up a little bit.